Hi folks, David Waring here again with InformTrades.com in today's lesson of the day. In our last lesson we looked at how to calculate how much leverage you're using when the US dollar is the base currency in the currency pair you're trading. In today's lesson we're going to continue our free Forex trading course with a look at how to calculate how much leverage you're using when the US dollar is not the base currency in the currency pair you're trading. So let's get started. As we've learned in previous lessons, in this particular demo account we are trading a contract size of 100,000 of the base currency in the pair. When the US dollar is the base currency in the pair, that's $100,000 per contract which, as our accounts are based in US dollars, makes the leverage calculation fairly easy. When the US dollar is not the base currency in the pair, however, the computation for the amount of leverage employed becomes a bit more difficult as in these cases we are trading 100,000 of that currency, not the US dollar. In short, what this means is that to get the amount of leverage utilized in these cases, we must convert the trade size into US dollars and then divide that by the equity in our account. To help illustrate this concept, let's look at a couple of examples. Let's say I'm trading two contracts of Euro dollar with an account balance of $100,000. As we've learned in previous lessons, two contracts of Euro dollar is 200,000 euros against the equivalent amount of US dollars. As we also learned, the rate in the dealing rates window for the Euro dollar, or for any other currency pair for that matter, is how much of the second currency in the pair it takes to buy one of the first currency. As of this lesson, Euro dollar is trading at 159.76, so 1 euro is worth $1.5976. As we are trading 200,000 euros, we multiply 159.76 times our 200,000 euro position size to get our position size in dollars, which equals 319,520. Now that we know our position size in US dollars, to get the amount of leverage utilized on this trade, we simply divide the $319,520 position size by our $100,000 account balance, which gives us a leverage ratio of 3.2 to 1. The process to calculate the leverage employed for currency pairs which do not include the US dollar is the same, but be sure to use the rate for the base currency and the US dollar to calculate the position size in US dollars. As an example here, if I was trading one contract of Euro Yen, then I'm trading 100,000 Euros against the equivalent amount of Japanese Yen. So even though I'm trading Euro Yen in this example, the position size is still based on the base currency, so it's 100,000 Euros. As our account is in US dollars, we need to calculate how large of a position this is in US dollars to get the leverage ratio. We do this by taking the rate of the Euro US dollar currency pair, which again, as of this lesson, is trading at 159.76, and multiply this by our position size of 100,000 euros. We then take the result of this calculation, 159.760, and divide it by our account balance of 100,000, which gives us a leverage ratio of 1.6 to 1. So notice how in this example, even though we were trading Euro Yen, we don't really care about the Yen in this currency pair. Uh, we only care about the Euro, since that's the base currency in the pair, and how large of a position that Euro Yen position is in US dollars. To help make this process easier, I've created a spreadsheet which you can find attached to this lesson if you're watching on informtrades.com. If you're watching on YouTube, I've included a link to this lesson in the description section to the right of this video. For your homework assignment tonight, I encourage you to calculate the leverage utilized on several trades and currency pairs which do not include the US dollar in the pair. Feel free to post your results in the comment section below. That's our lesson for today. In our next lesson, we'll look at the different order types available in the Forex market. So we hope to see you in that lesson. 
As always, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And good luck with your trading.